what's called the Yang Fu's form to the max. This is the Yang Ching Fu's form receiving the same treatment that the, the Yang Wu Chan's form did. Since having done the Yang Wu Chan's form to the max from when I was in China last, I received this um, so called secret treatise or uh, information, which is supposed to be a direct translation from Chang Sung Fung, the man who first invented Dim Mac and then Hao Chuan and then what later became Tai Chi. Uh, when I say I received this, inf this information in, in written form, uh, I won't say I was given it, but I, I got it. <laughs> I got it somehow. So I now have this uh, treatise that is said to be, and it, and it sounds to me it's got all the right information in there, and some revelations are sort of coming to light as I'm having each page translated. So as a consequence to that, some of the form is sort of changing, you know, back to what the founder of Tai, or what, what is now known as Tai Chi, uh, meant for us to be doing. And over the hundreds of years since Chang Sung Chang wrote what he thought should be happening, certain things had changed, like we all know we're supposed to keep our back stra backbone straight, the chin pulled in, but on occasions we actually bend the backbone forward, don't we, like this, to do moves like this. Whereas the biggest revelation is, from the first three pages of this, this thing that I'm having translated, is the fact, the amount of times that so-called Chung Sung Fung mentions the fact that the backbone should be vertical or plumb. Direct translation is plumb, so, and plumb means a plumb, it has to be ver vertical, that's what plumb means. So the direct Chinese translation means uh, the whole thing's in rhyming couplets, and so if you don't understand the martial arts idiom, you wouldn't understand this treatise. You'd, you'd wonder what the hell he was talking about. And even I've had times where I've been reading a rhyming couplet, I'm saying, what the hell does that mean? And then you only, when you're going through the form, you say, ah, now I know what it means. It takes a while to know what it means. So, you know, he, he wrote it in, like, um, uh, sign language or, or, or computer language so that people can't, a normal person reading it wouldn't have a clue of what he was talking about. So all the way through it he's saying, the direct translation is, that I got back was spine plumb. That's all he said, spine plumb. Now possibly the Chinese person re reading ancient Chinese would understand that straight away. But even the translator that I had translating it had difficulty. He said, what does this mean, spine plumb? And I knew straight away, because I've done the art, and I know, I know, I know the physics and the physicalness of Taiji in particular, to know exactly what Chang Sung Fei is talking about. So, I've basically changed the form myself now to be more in keeping with what Chang Sung Feng said, and that is to keep the back straight. And of course, I've said for years, you can't do Fa Jing, which is the motor of Dim Mac or Taiji, you cannot do Fa Jing with a leaning back. Even if your back's straight, you can have a straight back. My back's straight, perfectly straight. This is curved. This is straight, but the back's leaning. It's not plumb, it's not vertical. So Chung Sung Fang placed a whole heap of importance upon, in fact, in the first three pages he mentions it ten times. The fact that you must have a plumb backbone. So movements like uh, this, have to be down like this. Now, I, that's about as far as I can get down so far. I'm training on it, I am trying, but that's as far as you can get down. And, it, and when you do it this way, it gives you a whole new feeling about what these moves are supposed to be like. Because if you're supposed to follow this move, for instance, if I do it like this, like we, we normally do it, you follow this move with a grab of the arm and then a poke up under the arm, you can't take your left foot forward until you get to here and say you're wasting time. But if you go down like this, you can go straight in. Straight into the move, no worries, because your backbone's plumb and erect, all your weight's on one foot, and you also find a whole heap of difference when you actually perform that move, because the whole body's just sinking straight down, cutting across the wrist of the person, or striking to the points, rather than, because if you go like this, You've only got this bending of your backbone down to give you the power, whereas if you've got this sinking feeling, like, like as, as we do it in the fall now, <laughs> you've got tremendous power bah! going down because your backbone's straight and you can give a fudging shake as you go down. 
So that's it gets a little bit difficult when you do moves like uh, so. So I've changed the move like what I was originally taught. Like for instance, uh, when we do these moves here, fist on the knee. Because the, the they only put that there in order for the martial application. The martial application doesn't have to be right on the knee. So you do moves like this. You keep your backbone plumb and erect. You just put your fist to where you can get it to, and keep your backbone plumb and erect. And then you can get the charging shake at the end of it rather than bending forward for that one. So that's probably the most difficult one is that one there. So you don't, don't simply don't put it right on your knee, you just let, let put it where it can go with keeping your backbone vertical. Now it's really difficult. Most people think their backbone is vertical. They'd be like this, see? Most people think that's my backbone's not vertical. I know it's not. Now it is. You've just got to get into the habit of feeling when your backbone's vertical and knowing when it's vertical. <coughs> and I had some of the lads out from the camp, we had our last camp, and I said to them, okay, we're just going to concentrate on the classics of Chang Sung Fung. Do exactly what he said. And so, okay, they did moves like brush knee twist set, for instance, like this. And I said, okay, one of the classics says the eyes must look straight ahead, or rather, the, the, the direct translation is, the exact translation is eyes lateral. That's what the direct translation is. It means eyes lateral to the ground. So you must be looking like this at all times, not like this. And so the lads were doing their form, and I said, okay, now look straight ahead. And so they went, all three of them went, I said, hang on, there's another classic. It says, the backbone must not only be plumb and erect, it must be straight. The chin in. Chin in. Or chin pulled is the direct translation. Chin pulled is the direct translation. I'd say pull the chin in, like this. Okay, so if you've got your head like this, you pull the chin in. Now your head guy's looking down, see? So then the boys realised that their back work bones weren't straight. That's the reason they put... So, Using those first two classics of eyes lateral, backbone taut or straight, chin in, they had to then, in order to get those two, they had to have the backbone plumb and erect. In order to get those, otherwise they'd be looking downward, you see. So there's three classics now that tell us exactly how to hold the backbone. It must be plumb and erect at all times. And of course, this is more so for the Yang Lu Chan's form, the old Yang style, because that was the start system before Yang Ching Fu changed it to, to, the, to what we know it today. So the classics of the classic sayings, oh, by the way, uh, Chung Sung Kai never ever wrote anything down.